Hello everyone. Welcome to this video on best practices for using HTTP client. First of all, to introduce myself, I am Ayush. Uh, I work as a software developer in Microsoft. And let's first understand what is HTTP client. So HTTP client is a tool that allows you to send HTTP requests and receive responses from web APIs. But using it incorrectly, can lead to performance issues, security vulnerabilities and other problems. If you are struggling with on how to utilize HTTP client and how, how what is the best way to create a client HTTP client, right? That this this is the video for you. In this particular video, we'll discuss some best practices that can help you use HTTP client more effectively. Right? So um, first of all, the, the first and foremost question is how do I go and create a HTTP client? So let me start. Uh, let me start with using uh, a using statement to create a HTTP client. This you might see in in lot of legacy codes that the creation of HTTP client was used using a using statement, which is not the right way of doing that. If if your application starts getting a load uh, exponential load, right? This is one of the piece of code which will create uh, performance issues for you. So let me tell you what we are doing here. Uh, we are creating the HTTP client and uh, after that HTTP client is created, we just make a call, get the response and that's it. Just show, uh, pass that response and uh, show it on the UI, right? So, so basically here, if you see, uh, I've created two different APIs. Let's go and call the bad way of fetching the data. It works. It works fine. There is no problem in fetching the data. The problem you will see or the issues you will see once your application start getting a, a, a huge load, right? And uh, in for this as well, let me show you like what is the what is the response time it is taking. So it is almost taking a second. To basically make a call and give us back the results right now we have seen what 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 is the what is not the right way of doing the http client implementation now let's go and check like what is the best way to implement http client in c sharp.net right so uh, with that in place i have also created another api uh, which is which is using the http client implementation uh, so best way of creating a http client is to use the http client factory http client factory is a new feature in dotnet core 2.1 and later which simplifies the management and lifetime of http client instances for us so with that how, how do i enable http client factory implementation so in program.cs file or in startup.cs file you need go need to go and add this particular line of code that here what we are telling give me the http client as well for my application right so once you are done with that that's it you just need to go and you now have a way to inject this particular HTTP client factory in your controllers, right? So in here, if you see, I just added this injection and then created a private variable to store that. And finally, I'm creating a HTTP client using that. And then the response and uh, requests uh, all remain same, like whatever we did previously. Here we have added one more the configure await false, which we'll talk about as a second item. So this is this is basically the second piece of it. Um, this 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 is how we should how we should create a, a HTTP client using HTTP client factory. Just three pieces of line. The first line is to add in the program.cs add HTTP client. Second piece is to inject it in the in the place that you want to see. Here I have directly injected into the controller. And finally, the third piece is to basically Create a client using that HTTP client factory rather than utilizing using statements. Um, the second trick is to you always use get async or post async. So if I if I go and show you like every HTTP client has a lot of uh, requests, right? So if I if I just make a get call, uh, not get let me just make a send call right so send is basically where you can pass in a http request and uh, then you can get a response back right so 
If you are using this, it's basically a synchronous way of calling your API, which will block the main thread and which will create a lot of issues for you, right? So usually sending HTTP request is an input output bound operation uh, that can take a long time to complete. And especially if the server is slow or the network is congested and using this uh, sync and await model can make your make you write more responsive and scalable application that won't block the main thread. Um, this is this is another trick to basically make sure that you are writing uh, uh, or you are using the HTTP client in the way it was it was designed, right? And the third one is to utilize the configure await. So by default, await resumes the execution of the method on the same context as it was called from, which can lead to a deadlock issues if the if the if the previous context is not available, right? So using configure await false allows the method to resume on any context which can improve performance and prevent deadlock issues, right? So here we have just added this configure await of false. With this implementation, now let's go back and see what is the performance benefit that we are getting. With that, let's go to fetching the data in the best way. So this time also it made a call. We cannot see the performance benefit directly there. So now let me go back and call the counter and again go back to the fetch data. So you see it took 311 milliseconds to complete the same request which fetch bad data bad way was taking almost a second to complete. So if I if I make a call to this it is taking 1.32 seconds here it is getting within the three three zero six milliseconds right so these are the benefits that you will you will get so if you see it's almost one third or one fourth of the of the time that it was taking previously with using the using statement uh, of implementing http client so this is this is this is basically the right way or the best way possible currently to utilize the http client